Okay, so we got a bull elk down. You're like, now what do I do? We got to pack this one out, quarter it out. So we're going to do the gutless method. First thing we're going to do, since we're going to mount this bull, is we're going to cut up the back leg and get the cape ready. Go up right in the back on the hairline, the back of that elk's leg, and this will be ready for the taxidermist cuts that you want. So we made our line for our cape. We're going to skin this out. You're going to remove the shoulder. We're gonna separate this knee, get this out of here, and then we'll pull the front shoulder off. Make sure you get all your ligaments cut, and this should pop right off. So, now we're gonna remove the front quarter. Cut it right off, and then we'll put it in a game bag. The easiest way to cut a quarter out is just pry back and separate the membranes. That's all it is, there's no joint. Nice and easy. Here's your connector meat, shoulder. And all the way back. And this will expose the top of the back strap. So I got the rest of the connector tissue. This quarter is ready to go. Pretty hairless. End of the game bag. We're gonna bone the shoulder out and pack it out instead of packing all the bone out. So always have something to cut it on. We put this in the game bag last night, kept it nice and clean, no dirt on there hardly, and you'll have better quality final product if you start by keeping your quarters clean in the field. Begin by removing the meat behind the scapula. Start your cut at the top of the elbow joint, cutting above the humerus bone, then following the curve of the scapula with your knife. Never lay your meat on the ground. Always put it on some sort of surface. Keep it clean. You can feel the ridge of this scapula. Right along it. Right out to the end. Start at the bone. Go along the bone of the shoulder. Match that cut. And then you can see the edge of the scapula right here. Press your knife against that flat part of the scapula and you're just matching cuts. Very important thing of maximizing your meat quantity in the field is knowing anatomy of animals. So you can cut along these bones and that way you're, you're leaving a very small amount behind. There 
you go. Nice clean scapula. Right into the game bag. The outer layer is clean and we'll trim that off later. Remove the meat on the opposite side of the scapular ridge. Again, using the bone as your guide. Cut off the extra sinew and place the meat into a game bag. Turn the quarter over and remove the remaining meat from the scapula. Lastly, remove the shank meat between the shoulder and elbow joints. Work your knife around the humerus bone to remove this meat. We hope you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure you subscribe to the Eastman's YouTube channel. And we'll send you an email every time we post something new.